TBJ Kitchen. I'm Amy and today we're going to be making a vegetarian chili. Our protein source today is going to be coming from our beans. We're going to be using pinto beans, kidney beans, and black beans today. And we're also using a variety of different vegetables to increase our nutrients in our chili. Before we get started, we're going to want to wash and dry our produce. I've already done that for you today, so now we can start prepping our ingredients. The first ingredient we're gonna cut is our pepper. Like always in the PB&J kitchen, we want to use the claw to keep our fingers safe. So we're gonna tuck our fingers back and make sure our thumb is behind our front fingers, and we're gonna hold the knife all the way up at the top. First, we will cut both ends off, and that creates a flat surface so our vegetable doesn't roll around. We're gonna cut around the center, and that's an easier way to keep the seeds from spilling all over our cutting board. And then we will throw the center piece away, keeping the seeds in the middle. And then we wanna set these aside so our cutting board isn't messy, so it's easier to cut. With our peppers, it's easiest if we have the shiny side down. It just makes it so our knife isn't slipping around as much. Again, taking our claw, we're gonna cut this into slices. And this recipe calls for a large dice for all of our vegetables. Um, and then you'll take your pepper strips and just cut them back through into little blocks. And you're gonna do this for the full pepper. I've already cut up a pepper for you today, so I'm just demonstrating, but you'll want to cut through the full pepper. And then we'll add them to um, our bowl over here. The next ingredient we're gonna cut is our onion. For the onion, we're using a large onion today. Again, we're gonna to wanna to firmly hold this with our claw and cut the ends off. And then we'll lay it on our flat surface so it doesn't roll around and cut straight through the middle. When we do that, it makes it easier to peel the skin off. So we'll take the outer layer of the onion and we'll throw that away. And then we'll take our onion, and this is gonna be in a large dice as well. Since it's such a large onion, we can cut straight back through the center, leaving the last little bit intact. And then we'll take our knife and go straight down in thick slices, since this is a large dice. And then we'll bring our knife back and cut it this way. If you want the vegetables in your recipe to be cut up a little bit smaller, you can cut it into a small dice, um, but today we're cutting it a little bit larger. The important thing is that all of your vegetables are cut in about the same size so they cook evenly. You are gonna cut through this whole onion, but I've already done that for you, so I'm just gonna demonstrate half of it. And this can go into the same bowl as your peppers. The next ingredient we're gonna cut is our um, carrot. So our carrot first we're gonna want to peel before we dice it. So if you take a vegetable peeler and holding the vegetable away from you, and we're just gonna peel the outer skin off, and then we'll discard the skin. This recipe calls for one cup of diced carrots. That's about two large carrots or maybe three smaller carrots, which is what we're using today. After you take the skin off, we're going to take our knife and cut each end off. And then just to make it a little bit easier, we'll cut it straight down through the center. And then to dice this, the easiest way to do it is to put it up on its flat end and carefully holding it with like your claw really small, we're just gonna cut straight down through the center and that makes it flat and easier to cut. And then this is a small carrot, so we can just take it and cut straight down through into a larger dice. If you don't have as long to cook this chili in your kitchen, if you're in a little bit of a rush, I would cut these a little bit smaller so they cook faster. Next, we're gonna cut our garlic. This recipe calls for four cloves of garlic. We're not gonna mince these today. We're gonna cut them a little bit larger because they're all gonna cook with the vegetables. And so we can just dice these if you want to just take your knife and first cut off the little end and we'll throw that piece away. And then you can just slice through it twice and then turn it sideways and we can just dice this. And then this um, garlic, you can also add to your bowl of vegetables and you're gonna do that for all four cloves of garlic. And then the last vegetable today is our jalapeno. You don't have to add a jalapeno to your chili. Um, if you don't want it so spicy, you can leave the jalapeno out. Um, today I'm gonna cut it for you and add it to the chili. 
And we're also going to remove the seeds and that will make it less spicy too. If you want it really spicy, you can leave your seeds in. For this, if we want to cut the stem off and then we'll throw that piece away and we'll just cut down through the center carefully. And you want to be careful when cutting a jalapeno because if you touch the inside a lot, it's going to burn your fingers. And also if you touch anything afterwards, it can also burn you. So you want to wash your hands after you're done cutting the jalapeno. Um, you can also use gloves when you cut the, the pepper. I'm going to take the seeds out using a spoon. So if you just take a, a kitchen spoon and you just scoop the center out just so I don't have to touch it as much. And then I'll just throw that piece away. And then also so I don't have to touch it as much instead of having the shiny side down, I'm going to put the shiny side up so I don't have to touch the hotter oils on the inside. And I'm just going to slice this into strips and then turn it sideways and dice it. And you can also cut this a little smaller if you don't want larger pieces of the jalapeno. And you can put um, half of it in there. You can put the whole thing in there and then you'll add it to your bowl of vegetables with everything else. And again, you don't have to add this if you don't want to. Today, we're also going to be um, adding our spices to our chili when we head back to the stove. So here we have two tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of paprika, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now that we've prepped all of our vegetables, we can head back to the stove and start cooking our chili. First, we wanna warm up one tablespoon of olive oil over medium heat. And we wanna make sure that the oil is hot before we start cooking our vegetables. You can tell that the oil is hot when the um, oil easily moves around the pan when you turn it side to side. Now that our oil is hot, we can add our vegetables. So we're going to cook these for about five minutes and we're going to wait until they begin to soften and get brown on the edges. Now that our vegetables have cooked for about five minutes and they're starting to soften, we can add in all of our spices. So here we have the chili powder, cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and some salt. We're going to stir those around. You can adjust these seasonings based on your taste preference at home, if you want to add more chili powder, um, if you want to make it even more spicy, you could add some cayenne pepper. And then after we stir all of those around, we will add one cup of our vegetable broth. And when you add that, just make sure you're scraping all of the spices off the bottom of the pan. That's going to help add more flavor. And then here we have a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And then we'll add our beans. So we have the pinto beans, the kidney beans, and the black beans, just one can each. And I drained them and rinsed them already. So we'll stir all this together. And then we're just going to let this simmer for about 20 minutes just so all the flavors blend together and the vegetables get nice and soft. If you don't have that much time at home, you can cut the vegetables smaller so they cook faster. And if you have longer time at home to let this sit, you can let it simmer even longer um, and that'll bring out more of the flavors. A serving size for this recipe is one cup. You can top it with any garnishes that you like. Here at the PB&J Kitchen, we like using low-fat cheddar cheese, some Greek yogurt instead of sour cream, and some chives. We really hope that you enjoy this recipe and thanks for joining us in the kitchen today. Yeah.